In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this 12 months notebook style design slide in PowerPoint. I have done this in two different ways. Let me just show you the first one using the morph transition. So how the morph transition will work, I'm going to show you now. So you can see here this particular the first page where you can on the left side, you can add the, the calendar starting from Jan till December and on the right side you can give the details of each month for example this is January you can add more detailed text and some image as well as some background images also so when I click you can see here the needle goes to the February and it changes here the background image the text everything depending on your requirement you can change it and then it goes to March likewise you can do for the rest of the months so now let me just show you how uh, this will look like in the page curl transition. So again, this is the very first page. You can see here the January. When I click, you can see here it gives the notebook style and then it uh, turns to the second page, which is the February and then the March. Like this, you can do uh, similar for the rest, uh, rest of the months. And if you have not subscribe to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section i have used office 2019 version to do this uh, the page curl as well as the morph transitions are available only in the latest version of powerpoint so let's start the tutorial Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, then go to insert shapes. From the basic shapes, I'm going to select circle hollow. Just click it here. Go to format and make the height and width as 5.6. And then go to align center, align middle. So you end up getting a shape something like this. And then depending on your requirement, you can increase or decrease the width by dragging this small orange point. You can see something like this. Then shape fill, make it no fill and shape outline, whichever color of your choice, you can select it. Maybe I can just select some gray color here. All right, then I'm going to add 12 months here starting with january so but we need to know exact position where to add that one for that we need to go to insert shapes and stars and banners i'm going to select this 12 point star just click it and then i can make this also the height and width as five and then align center align middle and then drag this down you can see here something like this now i know that it has to be done added here at this point maybe this one i can make it four also and then again align center align middle okay now let's add the months here so go to insert text box first with the capitals i'm going to type january any font of your choice you can choose it Arial, all right and then if you want you can make it right aligned also and then i can increase the size a little bit then bring it here and you can see here i want to rotate this text now to rotate the text i can hold the alt and the left arrow key like this you can see here till it becomes vertical and i'm going to place exactly here then i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d and this one will be feb all right and then for this i can just again use the alt and the right arrow key i'm going to put it feb here again press ctrl d again alt and right arrow key then i'm going to type march and put exactly here press ctrl d again alt and right arrow key april you can see here again press ctrl d now again alt and right arrow key april this is may you can see here something like this press ctrl d again so like this you need to add one by one this is June, Control D. 
July. All right. Control D. Now this one I can rotate it the other way now. All right. Something like this. See here. July. This is August. All right. If you want, you can turn this also. Okay. If you feel that this has to be turned, you can just turn it straight. And this will be your July. June, July, August. Press Ctrl D. September. October should be straight. You can see here. Then last two months, November. And again, rotate it. See, you have to rotate it correctly. If you rotate something like this, it will not be good. So you have to rotate it perfectly. And then December. All right. And then I'm just going to put it here one more time. Yeah. So you can see here, I've got all the months. And again, I'm going to select this one. I'm going to make it maybe three only. Align center, align middle. And I'm going to shape outline, no outline, shape fill. I can give any gray color. All right. And then I would like to add a few more shapes for that. Let me just remove this, move this out. And later I'm going to use that one. I'm going to insert one shape, which is the rectangle rounded corner. Draw the rectangle rounded corner, maybe this much size and make it fully curved. Shape outline, you can make it red and increase the weight maybe four quarter and shape fill make it no fill so you can see here this is my january and if you like to change the width you can reduce the width also so it looks more good all right so now i'm going to adjust this according to my requirement and then i'm going to add one more shape or rectangle from the center small rectangle you can see here shape outline no outline shape fill the same color or any other color of your choice just you need to make sure that this is properly aligned in the center all right this also should be aligned properly and this also should be aligned properly and again if you want you can just reduce the width and again you need to spend a little bit of time to align it properly and then i'm going to select this one press ctrl d to duplicate and attach it at the bottom let me just zoom in you can see here you need to attach exactly at the bottom here then i'm going to select this one shape fill i'm going to make it no fill actually the rectangle is there but there is no color there so now i'm going to select this also both by holding the shift key so I'm selected this and this both, okay, the red rectangle and the one which I just make it no fill and then you have to make it group, control G to group it, all right. Then go to insert shapes. If you want, you can add one uh, rectangle here or a circle here. So I'm just going to select a small oval shape, hold the shift key shape outline make it no outline shape fill could be the same color and make sure that it is align center align middle and then bring this also align center align middle something like this okay now what happens is you can do two types of animations okay uh, one animation is the morph transition the other animation is the the page called transition actually it's not animation is a transition two types of transitions you can use it but before that one once your design is ready what you can do is you can select this design and bring towards the left side all right you can see here i have selected all and then i bring it here then the next thing is i'm going to add a few shapes here so let me just add one spiral binding effect here so go to insert shapes i'm going to select from the flowchart this one which is the terminator draw it maybe this much size you can see here shape outline make it no outline 
and shape fill you can give any color of your choice or you can give some gradient also then align center let me just zoom in and then go to insert shapes i'm going to select the oval shape draw a oval shape by holding the shift key shape outline make it no outline shape fill you can give some dark color right mouse click go to format shape and the effects shadows i'm going to give this shadow effect and send this to back all right and then select this one hold the control shift key at the other side also and then send this to back so you can see here the spiral effect is there now if you want to add some uh, gradient fill you can select that one okay so first of all i'm going to select some dark color here at the edges all right and then i'm going to add some light color here in the middle all right so something like this you can see here then select both of these three objects press ctrl g to group it and then hold the ctrl shift key at one by one at the bottom so don't worry whether the size is uh, the equal spacing is given or not that we can adjust it later all right so you can see here i'm going to select these align distribute vertically and press ctrl g to group it and this one i'm going to select it and i'm going to move more towards left side all right so you can see here we have added this one and then depending on your requirement you can add image you can add text so this is we're talking about the january so go to insert shapes let me just add one rectangle covering the half of the slide shape outline no outline and then i can add any image before that let me just send this to back and then i can go and select picture or texture fill and click on insert if you're using the latest version you can select the online pictures or you can select the pictures from your local pc so let me just select some online pictures and i'm going to type some business here and you can see here these are the creative commons that means uh, this is no problems if you take these images right so you can select any image of your choice maybe this one click on insert and then re remove this one and depending on your requirement you can adjust this one you can see here something like this so this is the month of january so i'm going to add one shape go to insert shapes and i'm going to select type first of all select this one here or paste this one here no outline shape fill you can give any color and then insert text box i'm going to say january 2022 all right and then make it white bold increase the size and put it here and then depending on your requirement what text you need to add here you can add some text you can add some shapes so example i want to add some shape here where i'm going to add some text shape outline no outline and then i'm going to add two more uh, rectangles here or two or three rectangles depending on the requirement and then you can add any image or some text also here so for example this one i'm going to fill this with white and if you want you can make a little bit transparent and then you can go to insert text box equals lorem within bracket this gives me some latin text all right maybe i can select like this so this is my text here and then for this i can select any picture of my choice again i'm going to online maybe i'm going to type now building and building i'm going to choose any building of my choice click insert like this you can add different buildings and remember if you're adding these images sometimes the size of the ppt will be very huge in that case you need to go and uh, reduce the size of the file or the picture so in that case you can go to the format select the picture and you can say compress picture and remove this one apply to this picture only and select the email one which is 96 ppi and click ok 
so if you do like this this will reduce the size of your powerpoint presentation all right so this is like this you can add let me just give some other color here just for the time being all right so this is for the month of january now to add another month you need to right mouse click duplicate the slide and then i'm moving this one here again hold the alt and the right arrow key turn this and this also you can do the same thing all right this is for the february and this one i'm going to change to february all right and if you want you can just change the color again to suit your requirement all right so now this one what you can do is there are two options you have got you go to the transitions the first is the morph so you can see here the morph comes something like this and if you want it more quicker you have to go to the duration reduce the duration here to 0.5 for example let me just show you so this is my first slide january when i click you can see here it changes to february all right and then again if you want to change the background image you can go here you can put some different image here and i'm going to type for example building only and i'm going to choose any good building from here maybe this so the building got changed and for example i don't want this one this has to be here somewhere like this all right so now what happens here if you see here this is january and this is the february you can see so this is one way of doing the animation the other way of doing the animation or the transition is you can select the page curl here now remember that these particular transitions are available only in the latest version of powerpoint so let me just select the page curl so now page curl will look something like this so this is january this is february you can see here so depending on your requirement if you want the morph transition you can use the morph transition or if you like to use the page curl transition you can use the page curl transition all right so likewise this is just we have done for january and february again press ctrl d to duplicate move this this one to march again hold the alt and the right arrow key align it properly put it in the march and this also alt right you can see here align it all right and then again reduce the this one uh, the size for the morph transition the duration so depending on your requirement you can adjust this one 